Hey boys and girls, how you doing? I, I am so excited. You know what? I got all your text messages and phone calls and emails and I really appreciate you guys. I really do. I miss you guys too. I really do. But guess what? It's time to steam with the science machine. So here we go. I'm excited. Whoa! Wait, so it's about to go up. Now, this is what's going on in the lab today, okay? We've got two awesome science experiments that I'm going to share with you. And then, I'm going to take you on this awesome adventure to this very magical place. I got some special trivia questions that I'm going to ask you about that place. And then, this is what I want you to do. I want you to post your own video answering those questions and I want you to tag me on Instagram at Science Machine TV. And this is the deal. Whoever sends in a video and tags me, you're gonna get a wristband and whoever makes the best video, I'm gonna send you one of my t-shirts. And so that's awesome. I'm excited. It's about to go down in the lab. Are you excited? Let me hear you. I didn't hear you say it. Say, I'm excited, science machine. Okay, okay, okay. Well, here we go. Let's get started. Now, for the first experiment, this is what you'll need. You're going to need a microwave, and you're going to need a bar of ivory soap. This experiment only works with ivory soap. It will not work with any other kind of soap. So, if you don't have any ivory soap at home, just make a quick trip to the store and get you a pack. Now, what I want you to do, I want you to take your bar of ivory soap and I want you to break it in half with your hands. Now, I'm a second degree black belt, so I'm going to break mine a little bit differently, but I want for you to just break it in half with your hands, okay? So here we go. Ha! That's how I roll. I know, I know, I know. Now, what we're going to do next, take your half a bar of what kind of soap? Let me hear you. Ivory soap, exactly. Now I want you to take it, we're gonna open the microwave, grab a plate, Stick your bar, your half a bar of ivory soap, right in the center. Stick it back inside. Now, we're going to turn on the microwave for 90 seconds. So, here we go. Awesome. Now, while we're waiting for that, I want to tell you a little bit, a little story. But when you're doing this at home, it's really, really cool because you know, mi microwaves have that glass front so you can literally sit there right in front of the microwave and you can just watch the science awesomeness that's taking place. Now, tell you a little bit of story, a little story. Not too long ago, I was hanging out with one of my friends. He said, science machine, you're not gonna believe who wants to meet you. I was like, who? Oh. He said, LeBron James. I was like, get out of here. He said, I'm serious. And so he pulls out his phone and he shows me, he's like, he wants you to meet him at this restaurant. So I drive down to the restaurant. I get there. As soon as I get to the restaurant, my friend and LeBron, they're already seated there. I walk around to the front of the desk, or to the, I'm sorry, to the front of the table. Boom, LeBron James. I was like, Wah! And he looked at me and he's like, what's going on, science machine? That, that's how that happened. Now, we have about 30 more seconds until the magic happens. And when I pull this out, it is going to be awesome. And the best part is, You'll be able to do this at home, and because you broke the soap in half, you'll even be able to do this experiment twice. And that's even better. Twice is better. So, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Let's check it out. Here we go. Whoa! And you see it's smoking a little bit, so it's kind of hot. But this is what happened. When they make ivory soap, they pump it full with a whole bunch of air. And so when you stick it in the microwave, when the heat from the microwave hits those little air bubbles, 
The air bubbles get hot. And as they get hotter and hotter and hotter, they expand. And they get bigger and bigger and bigger. And that's pretty awesome. And you know what? You know what it smells like? Ivory soap! <laughs> I know, I know. And the best part is, you still have this other half over here. So you can do it again. And that's pretty awesome. We're doing science. I know, I know, I know. So, microwave, ivory soap, 90 seconds. Watch the magic. Now, let's go on a little adventure. Because I'm excited, I'm excited. Now, I remember when I graduated from Morehouse College, one of the best, best graduation gifts that I got was a trip to a magical place called Africa. It was amazing. And we went to a country called Zimbabwe. And if you ever, ever get a chance to travel, anywhere in the world. Boys and girls, you have to go. You have to see how big and magnificent this world is. There's so many things that I could tell you about, but some things you just have to see for yourself. And so in Africa, there's, there's this waterfall. They call it Victoria Falls, but this is what I want you to do, because I know you're gonna make a video and you're gonna make a video talking about Africa and Zimbabwe, and I want you to answer some of these questions in the video that you sent to me. So, there's this waterfall in Zimbabwe. And before we even talk about the waterfall in Zimbabwe, just to give you a little bit of frame of reference, you've probably heard of Niagara Falls in New York. Well, every second, 13 million gallons of water goes over the side of Niagara Falls. 13 million. 13 million. 13 million. Now the reason that's incredible Zim in Zimbabwe, Victoria Falls, 70 million gallons of water goes over the falls every second. It's 13 times bigger than Niagara Falls. In order to photograph the whole thing, you have to take a picture from the sky. It's that big, it's magnificent. Now I can tell you about it, I could, I could go on all day about it, but it's just one of those things that you have to see. And then there's, there's other cool stuff, I want you to find out the capital of Zimbabwe. Because I remember when I was there, it amazed me because it looked just like San Francisco without the water. So when you do your video, find out the capital. Find out where Zimbabwe is located. Find out what year it earned its independence. Find out all of these things. In Zimbabwe, they have a lot of exports. A lot of stuff that they make and they send it off to other countries. Find out two or three of those exports and then once you get all that information together, I want you to make your video and send it to me. And that'll be awesome, that'll be awesome. Okay, now, we got one more experiment to go. Are you ready for another incredible experiment? Because you know that's what we got. I mean, you know that's what we got. So, here we go. Didn't have to walk far. <laughs> okay, okay. Now, what you need for your next experiment Pay close attention. You need some dishwashing liquid. So we're gonna get a little bit, pour it down in my cup, in my bowl. So we got a little bit of dishwashing liquid. You'll also need a couple of Q-tips, boys and girls, gotta have a couple of Q-tips. You wanna get some food coloring, the red, the orange, the green, and the blue. And then you also wanna get a little bit of milk. So, I think we're ready. I think we're ready to do some science. So, here we go. What I want you to do first, I want you to get enough milk to fill the bottom of the plates. So, we're gonna get some milk. We're just gonna pour it right on there. Awesome science machine. And then put it right there. And then we're gonna pour some over here. Awesome. So, and you just need enough to make sure that it covers the bottom of the plate. Now, and this is the best part, so pay close attention because you can have so much fun. Now, we're going to get our red and put it right there. 
and we'll put some right there. And then we're gonna get our orange and we're gonna put the orange, you know, on this side. I try to use one drop, maybe two drops of each, and then get your green, put your little green right here, and a little green right here, awesome, and then big blue! <laughs> My son knows what that means, Tennessee State, we'll drop that in there, and then we'll put that right there. Now, here comes the magic. We're going to take one of our Q-tips, and we're going to dip it down in the dishwashing liquid, and then we're just going to take it and stick it right in the milk. Watch this, boys and girls. Whoa! I know, I know. And then we'll get another bit and we'll put it right there. I know, isn't that cool? Oh my goodness, you're gonna be able to do that at home. You're gonna have so much fun. And you put some here and you can put it all over. And that's really cool. So we'll grab another bit and we're gonna come over on this side. So here we go, we're gonna put it right there. You see that? That is so cool. And what happens is when you stick the Q-tip down in the dishwashing liquid and then you stick it down into the milk, it causes the milk to separate and that's why it squirts off to the sides. I know, I know the first time I saw that. I was like, whoa! It's so easy to do too. So, I hope you had fun in the lab today, doing steam with the science machine. I had a good time. Now, just to recap, just to recap, there's some questions I wanna make sure that you cover. I want you to find out the capital of Zimbabwe. I want you to find out what year Zimbabwe got its independence. I want you to find out two or three cool exports that Zimbabwe produces. I want you to find out a few things about the waterfall, and more importantly, I want you to find out the name of the waterfall before it was Victoria Falls. And you do those things, make your video, I know I already know your video is gonna be awesome, and send it to me. And don't worry about it, just send it to me at tag me at Science Machine TV on Instagram. And then, as soon as I see your video, I'm gonna send all my junior science machines one of my wristbands. And one, one special person is going to get one of my awesome t-shirts. And it might be you, it might be you. So make sure you do all that. And I'll see you next time. I'll see you on Tuesday. I am so excited. Hope you had fun. I'll see you next time. Science machine out.